Hello guys. Now from this video onwards, we are starting with API authentication. And now let's understand how API authentication works in our website. So guys, as you can see, we have this user, okay? And this user wants to access this website. So guys, this whole box highlighted in blue, it is our website, okay? So we want to make sure that not every user has an access to this website and for that we have implemented azure ad authentication so basically when this user when it tries to access this website this website redirects user to azure ad and it asks that user to complete his authentication and if authentication is successful then token is returned so guys if you see internally this website it contains two apps that that is this is our front-end app and this is our back-end app so let's say for example this front-end app it can be developed in react or angular and this back-end app it contains apis so though internally this website contains two apps but for end user okay this website it is just one application and it has seamless experience now again our website it means ui app plus backend app okay and for the demo in this tutorial series we will assume our ui app is a postman so guys i hope you know what postman is so basically we can try and test apis using postman okay so basically what happens is this user he he actually wants to call this api only okay and indirectly we are authenticating this user against this APIs. That is, we check whether this user is authenticated to call this API or not. But this user, he doesn't call this API directly, okay? But this user calls the API through this UI app, okay? So, when we say that this user, he, he wants to access this website. So, indirectly, this user is trying to access this UI app and this UI app, on behalf of that user calls this API and of course this user he must be authenticated to consume or call that API and now let's try to understand it in paint tab okay so guys here I will repeat a few things which we just discussed but I assume it is required because if you have clear understanding of these concepts trust me you will find it a lot easier to implement API authentication okay so Again, we have this tenant and again tenant is our universe. So whatever we do, we do it in tenant only and this tenant, it means it's Azure tenant. So this is our tenant. So again, tenant, it means organization. So in this tenant, we have the users and guys, again, these users, they are at tenant level only and these users they are not added in application but they are added in tenant so let's say we have two users neil and steve okay now as we just discussed we will create two apps one will be our front end or ui app so it will be our ui app and we will create our backend app and it will have APIs. So guys, this UI app and this backend app, these are nothing but app registrations. So they will be, these will be app registrations in tenant. And again, this backend app, it will have, so it will represents our APIs. So indirectly this user, okay, so Neil or Steve, he wants to consume these APIs, right, from this backend app. But this Neil or Steve, they will consume these APIs through this UI app. So two things, one, Neil or Steve, they must be authenticated to consume this API, that is user must be authenticated. And second, this UI app, it should also have a permission to call these APIs from this backend app, right? So what we'll do is this backend app will do something called expose APIs. 
and I guess now you can imagine. So here we are exposing APIs because this backend app contains our APIs which will be consumed by UI app, right? And for this UI app, we will provide API permissions. That means for this UI app, we will provide the permissions to consume the APIs from this backend app. Okay. So now as you can guess, we will create app registration for our backend app. We will create app registration for our frontend app and we will link this backend app with our front frontend app. So that's it guys. As far as this video is concerned, I just wanted to cover these concepts at high level. Thanks. Thanks for listening.